Hey, this is Andrew Jones. You watch On Deck with Tyler. Hey guys, Mike Will never here. You're watching On Deck with Tyler Redman. Hi, this is Phil Necro. You're watching On Deck with Tyler Redman. This is Mark the Banks. And I'm on deck with Tyler Redman. Welcome into On Deck, I'm Tyler Rebbin. As always, make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell for notifications so you can stay updated with everything going on in Braves country. And of course, you can follow me on social media, Tyler Rebbin, at Bubblegum Jesus on Twitter and Instagram. So the Braves took on the Marlins in the final game of the series yesterday. They started the day off with the series tied at 1-1. One and, one, and Robbie Erland would take the mound for the Braves. He actually had a really good day yesterday, pitching four innings solid, only giving up a hit, no earned runs, no walks, and he did get five strikeouts. He pounded the strike zone, and the Braves really needed this. Robbie Erland really needed this. And all credit to Robbie uh, to come in on you know new team and put up four shutout innings. Really looked good. But I think he's more than likely going to be on a really short leash just with all the troubles that the Braves are having right now uh, with starting pitching. So the bullpen as a whole also was really lights out last night. As a whole, they only gave up one hit and a walk. No runs given up from the bullpen, which is to be expected out of the Braves' bullpen as of right now. It was a pitcher's duel as Robbie Ray and Hernandez were both lights out for a few innings. Both offenses were scoreless through five. The Braves would finally pick up a run in the sixth inning as Swanson would lead off with a double. Freeman would ground out, but he got Dansby over to third. Ozuna followed up that with a walk. And then it was Nick Markakis who singled the center field to bring in Dansby. That would make the score one to nothing Braves. Darren O'Day and A.J. Minter combined would keep the Marlins quiet through the bottom of the sixth inning. And in the top of the seventh, with two outs, Ender and Ciarte would single. Dansby would get another single. With runners on first and second, the Marlins would bring in Morin to face Freddie Freeman. He would walk. And with the bases loaded, Ozuna would be back up at the plate. And the Marlins would walk him with the bases loaded. Two to nothing Braves. And then Marquegas would get two more RBIs, scoring Swanson and Freeman. Four to nothing Braves. And that would be the final score, and my pick for the player of the game has to be Nick Markakis. We've noticed that the Braves lately are striking out a lot, and Nick Markakis has a few strikeouts on the year, but he always battles in an at-bat, always typically goes into a deep count. He gets to show the rest of the team uh, every pitch the pitcher has to throw. So last night with four at-bats, he had two hits and three RBIs, and you got to love that. He is just a shining light for the Braves this season. I do think that Robbie Erland does deserve a lot of credit for last night. Four shutout innings on a new team, only giving up one hit. Can't really ask for any more than that. But you got to think he's on a short leash because I'm not comfortable just throwing him into the rotation um, as a solidified starter after one start. He very well may come to Atlanta and exceed expectations, but I still think that one bad start and the Braves begin questioning uh, his placement there. So as long as he succeeds, why not keep him there? As many wins as the Braves can pick up without Max Freed or without using the entirety of the bullpen, I'm all for it. So, good day for the Braves. Uh, they won the series. They're now 13-10. Technically, they are still behind the Marlins, uh, only behind them with winning percentage. And you got to think with all those doubleheaders the Marlins are eventually going to have to play, their luck's going to start running out. So, the Marlins are 9-6, and six, and we'll have to wait and see uh, how they perform when they get to 23 games, which is where the Braves are at right now. But let's take a look at the standings all the way around in the National League East. The Marlins are, of course, in first place. They're 9-6 with a win percentage of 600. The Braves are in second with a 13-10 record, 5-6-5 winning percentage. The Phillies, 8-9 with 471 winning percentage. And the Nationals are 8-11, 421 winning percentage. And, of course, the Mets, boy, they're looking rough right now, 9-14 with a 391 winning percentage. So hopefully when the Marlins start playing some games, they will get behind the Braves in the standings. But as of right now, they are still in first place. So tonight, the Braves take on the Nationals for the first time this season. It will be at Truist Park. Anibal Sanchez will be taking on Tookie Toussaint, and we will miss the big pitchers for the World Series champion Nationals. So no Scherzer, he's injured. No Strasburg, he's injured too, and Patrick Corbin won't be scheduled to face the Braves. So that is good news because the Braves could would like to pick up some wins on another division rival. And again, it will be Anibal Sanchez versus Tookie Toussaint tomorrow. Hopefully the Braves offense can do some good things without the uh, two stars they're missing. Of course, those being Ronald Acuna and Ozzy Albies. Um, hopefully Tookie Toussaint can bring back what he had a few starts ago and not what he had his last outing. So, of course, there's a ton of questions right now. One of the biggest being, will we see Ian Anderson and Christian Pache? Maybe others over the next week or so. 
Uh, we'll have to wait and see for that, but stay tuned right here and we'll let you know everything going on. But let me know how you feel about the game last night. Let me know what you think about the prospect speculation going on in Braves country. And of course, to see tonight's recap tomorrow, you need to like this video, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell for notifications so you can stay updated. And of course, you can follow me on social media, Tyler Redman at Bubblegum Jesus. I always keep you updated there. But that's all I got for today. I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time on deck.